everybody! I have a little haul from One Little Dreamer and um, a couple little um, project shares, just little things that I've been doing, um, things that I can pick up and put down easy enough um, you know, when I have a small amount of time until things quiet down a little bit more at work. One more crazy week to get through and then a little bit of reprieve. And um, But with my order already so sweetly included this mass of awesome, gorgeous doilies. I'm not going to show them all at once or, you know, all individually because we'll be here forever if I do that. But, oh my gosh, this is just so amazing. There are some really unique and gorgeous ones in here. And a lot of them, she sent more than one. Thank you so much, Artie. And... I know in uh, flash deals on Facebook um, over the weekend she was um, selling like um, grab bags or like doily kits and I believe there was probably like 60 some doilies in them <clears throat> and bags of little bits to go along with them so I imagine this is pretty similar to what she was uh, what she was selling and she's probably sold out. Um, but she will be doing more, so definitely keep an eye on Flash Deals and on her exhibit store, One Little Dreamer, and I'll put a link out down below for that. If you're not a member of Flash Deals, then, um, you know, just go and make, make a friend request, and um, I'm sure Artie will add you. But I mean, some of these are just so, so gorgeous. Well, they're all gorgeous, but some are so unique and different. And I'm not saying these are what you would get in your grab bag, but um, you can see there is an amazing variety of gorgeous goodness. I am seriously going to love playing with these already. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Yummy! So, I just laid it all out in the interest of time because I do have to go to work a little bit later. I'm usually off on Mondays, but not today. Um, so for my order, um, I ordered um, Maggie Maggie's um, May Design Team Kit, uh, which was uh, Blue Lagoon. And as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to have it because there is a project that I have in my mind. It'll probably be the first large project that I work on once I have some time in a couple weeks. But it is absolutely stunning. And I know this kit is, is sold out. Um, however, um, keep an eye on Artie's store and her design team for June because they all have kits. And they are putting together some amazing, amazing kits. Now, I'm not saying you wouldn't be able to get um, a lot of these items individually in the store, but it is a better deal if you get the kit, but they are in limited quantity. So if you see one that you want, you need to go and grab it because they are going to go fast. So it's about a half a yard of the gorgeous blue rosette trim. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten beautiful rosettes on there. This ribbon lace is just stunning. Absolutely beautiful. And there's a yard of that. There is this dangle trim. Find the opening here. I don't know why I didn't go ahead and open this. But I actually opened this, pack, this package with Artie on uh, Skype the other night, so that, that's why you're not seeing me open it fresh. Um, but there is a yard of this awesome dangle trim, which is ama gives amazing movement on your projects. And I have used this before, and I absolutely love it. So there is that. And awesome bling trim. 
Love this one because you can cut them individually. Perfect for embellishments and flower centers and things. Her bling trains are just absolutely stunning. Gorgeous little bling bows. I love the size of those. Those are so cute. And this is uh, pearl and bling trim, which I don't have any of this. Well, I do now. <laughs> so, another gorgeous one. I'll tell you what, she's got an amazing eye for gorgeous things. And this one, holy buckets. This is what did it for me as far as having to get it. And I'm not, I'm not usually big on the colorful bling trims, but for the project that I've got in mind, oh my gosh, this is going to be so amazing. So there's a half a yard of this, and in this are five sections of this gorgeous cluster. Colorful and sparkly. And each one has its, has its own setting, which is awesome. So they're not going to just pop apart. They are on a wire mesh, but that, but that can be cut through with some um, wire cutters. So I am super excited to begin working on that particular project. <clears throat> Hopefully in the next week, two weeks, I'll be able to get a go on that. Because I, I love it when I have an idea in my head and I have a vision in my head and all the pieces start coming together. <laughs> so much fun. And for uh, just little things that I've been working on, um, I wish I could remember where I saw it. I don't. It's not a channel I subscribe to. Um, I think it. I think I saw it on one of the um, recommended for you or what to watch type things on YouTube. Um, but somebody was making crepe paper flowers and they were using not necessarily dollar store um, crepe paper but a higher grade so I actually went to Paper Mart and they had have two different grades of crepe paper and it comes in rolls um, I think it's like 19 inches by 8 feet yeah a little over 8 feet and tons of colors and the prices were really good. I got the lower grade that they carry um, because the, the price was just so good and even the higher grade uh, was very reasonable but I wanted to get a bunch of colors. Um, so I started making some crepe paper roses. This was my first one and I love it from the top. From the side not so perfect but if I'm going to put that on something, then that will work out very, very well. And then I did a white one, and I'm not sure where the stem went to this one. This was my second one, and it definitely came out better. with a, This is actually ivory. I didn't, uh, haven't used the white white yet. And then that's the side. So you can see much better. So it's not that hard to do. It's just getting used to uh, figuring out how to play with it. <clears throat> and then I had some extra petals left, so I just, just kind of um, laid them in a row and then rolled them together, and to me it looks like a Rose of Sharon Blossom, which is just too cute. So I'm definitely going to make more of those. And that's it from the top. And then I love this one. I think this is my favorite so far. Just a simple rosebud. And that's it from the top. I just love the look of the um, that the crepe paper gives it with all the texture and everything. And then a yellow rose. And that's it from the side. So it just takes a little bit of practice. I'm not saying they're perfect. And 
I'm sure they'll get better as I do more of them, but those are easy to play with while I'm watching videos, which I'm really, really trying to catch up on. <laughs> and then um, I had found this gorgeous, these gorgeous pillowcases at a yard sale that I showed you a couple weeks ago with this fabric. And I just, I love the look of the, the um, doilies that have the fabric with the crochet edge around them. So I decided I had to try one. So this is my first one. And Lord only knows why I decided to do such a large piece and an odd shape to start with. But that's kind of how I roll. <laughs> Don't do anything easy the first time. Um... But I wasn't able to find my book on crochet borders and trims, so I was kind of having to make this up as I went along. But it's you start out basically just doing a blanket stitch around your fabric using the needle and your crochet thread. And this was my first one. And my stitches were probably, are, you know, I would say too large, but I'm okay with that. And then I just did a... Um, a single crochet chain all the way around hooking into the blanket stitch and um, not a single crochet just a uh, just a chain well yeah it was a single crochet because it had to connect to it and then you know some um, some double crochet clusters and some you know groups of double crochets so that is the border, and then whatever possessed me, I don't know, I decided I had to have pearls on it too. So I went around and stitched pearls in between all of these groups. But for my first one, I'm pretty happy with how that came out. Odd shape, no pattern <laughs> for, the, for doing the crochet, just uh just going with it to see what worked and yeah there there are some imperfections in it but um you know and I think I was able to uh to work around those pretty well um but yeah so those are the little bits I've been working on and hopefully very soon I'll be able to start working on larger projects and um I will put the link to Artie's shop down below and to Maggie's channel. Uh, she's Maggie White. Um, this was her kit. Again, that it, it is sold out, uh, but she does have a June kit also. So, as do does the rest of Artie's design team. Definitely go look for their kits. Yeah, you know, either on their um, on the, through their videos or in Artie's shop because they are pulling together gorgeous, gorgeous kits. And that's it for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have a great week, and I will hopefully see you soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.